Uh, my name is Mike Beltzner. I work for Mozilla as the director of Firefox. And uh, I'm hoping to show you a couple of the new features that we've got in Firefox 3.5. So what are you most excited about? I'm really most excited about video. Um, I can show you right here. Uh, what I'm showing you is the built-in video support that we're shipping in Firefox 3.5. It's for AUG encoded video. And what I'm showing here is that it works just like you'd expect video to work in the browser. Uh, you can move back and forth throughout the video. You've got a volume slider and the controls are all built in. But because this is all done with JavaScript, if you don't like these controls, it's really easy for you to change them. Uh, and then you can make the controls exactly how you want them, or the web developer can. These ones have you know, zooming, and you can see it all plays nice and smoothly within the page. There's a bunch of other things we can do with video in the browser that you can't do with other plugins. Uh, so what this is showing is a video here. This guy's holding two iPods, and Firefox is running a little script that actually detects the two points uh, in this video where he's holding those iPods and then it can just inject whatever content we choose. So a static image, uh, we can have a little game of Pong get injected in there. Um, we can write whatever text we want to appear in there. Uh, and all these things just happen sort of uh, easily and fluidly within the browser. We can even inject a video on top of a video. That gets kind of meta. The other fun thing with video in the browser is that you can start to apply all of the other graphical transformations that we've got, like SVG. So here's another video, and I can really, really quickly apply a filter to it to make it black and white. Or I can colorize it, uh, or detect all the edges in the video. And this is all happening instantly and within Firefox. I can even apply a bizarre clipping path to the video if I want, uh, or I can just transform it. Like here's a rotation, and here's a different rotation. And all these things can happen within the user's control or the web developer's control. And the controls still work, which is kind of cool. And can uh, you add uh, links into the video? Sure, you can add links into the video. You can have the JavaScript uh, at certain times when it detects things happening in the video react in different ways. Uh, we've put together demos where the background of the page will change color to match the ambient color of the video. All of a sudden, the video and the web page become completely interactive and can be, respond to each other. So the video itself becomes acts like a web, a web page. That's correct. Yeah.